coming, buddy. Codsworth? You're, you're still here. So, other people could still be alive, too. Well, of course I'm still here. Surely you don't think a little radiation could deter the pride of General Atomics International? <laughs> but you seem the worst for wear. Best not let the wife see you in that state, hmm? Where is the missus, by the way? They... They killed her. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, uh, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? He's gone. God damn it. Someone took him. Someone stole my son. It's worse than I thought. Mm -hmm. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. <laughs> 200 years? What? Are you? A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or oh, give and take a little. For the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> Perhaps I can whip you up a snack? <laughs> you must be famished. Codsworth, you're acting... a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but 
Nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> Nothing. And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. <laughs> and the car. The car. How do you polish rust? Whoa, whoa. Focus, Codsworth. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that Pip-Boy on your arm. That should work brilliantly. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? The missus and young Sean may turn up yet. Have you seen anything dangerous? Oh, just the usual, sir. Pesky neighborhood dogs and mosquitoes. Shall I investigate? All right. Lead the way. Proud to serve, sir. Codsworth. Sir, the missus and young Sean, they aren't here. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, they only pummeled me with sticks a few times before I had to run back home. There's still people alive in Concord? Yes, although they're a bit rough. Uh, you remember the way? Just across the southern footbridge out of the neighborhood and past the Red Rocket Station? I shall remain here and secure the home front. Thank you. 
do not. Don't you worry, little pal. We'll be heading there so uh, <clears throat> That's close enough, stranger. We're a peaceful farm. We don't want any trouble. It's okay. I'm friendly. Not looking to cause any trouble. If you say so, but be warned, we're armed here. So don't try anything. Let me tell you, farming ain't easy. Out in the field all day, every day, and every minute of it. Spent watching your back. You gotta be careful. Never know who you can trust these days. Won't argue with that. Blake Abernathy. You new to the Commonwealth? I'm... Yeah. You could say that. Good to see a new face. How about you? Ever think about working the land? Don't know. Never really thought about it. Hell, neither did I. I was born into it. Word of advice, though. If you do start up a farm, be ready to deal with the raiders. Why do all the hard work when you can just take what you want at gunpoint? Raiders. The name alone says something. You really are new. The name's only the tip of the iceberg. They're well armed, take what they want, and kill whoever gets in their way. Last time those raiders hit us, my daughter Mary tried to stand up to them. Now she's buried out back of the house. Only 21 years old, and they shot her down without a thought. That's why we need the Minutemen back. And the sooner, the better. There's nothing worse than losing a child. Believe me, I know. I'm sorry to hear you say so. I don't have much to offer, but those raiders that killed Mary, they took her locket too. It's been in Connie's family for generations. If you could get it back, it'd mean a lot to us. Uh, do you know where they're coming from? Yeah, pretty sure I do. One of them mentioned Olivia while they were here. My guess is they're holed up in that old USAF station. Excuse me. New here? Well, if you've got anything worth trading, you can talk to me. What have you got? It ain't a lot, but I've got a few basic supplies. Ammo, meds, that sort of thing. Ammo and meds? What kind of basic supplies are those? Very basic. You want to survive out here? You need ammo and meds. So, you up for a trade or not? Sounds good.
can't say I've been to Diamond City yet. Biggest city in the Commonwealth. Anything you need, anything you want to know, that's the place to start. What's a Tato? Ah, short for potato. Let's just say it's the mighty, rad-resistant cousin of the tomato and potato. Tatoes, mute fruit, taberries. Things change to survive nuclear fallout. Get used to it. How is the trade with Diamond City? Good. When my husband actually gets around to doing it. That is, if no one raids the farm first. Why do you think I'm selling ammo and meds? You can't protect yourself? The Commonwealth will swallow you right up. I don't think so. Great. Maybe next time you can get right to the point instead of wasting my time. <laughs>